with your co-managing divas, Emily Kirkins Stevenson, Stephanie Redman, and Dr. Michelle Latour. Are we live? Is this thing? So welcome. <laughs> we're Opera on Tap Las Vegas. And because we are in a pandemic and because we're all singing in our houses, uh, Stevie and I and, and Opera on Tap National were like, how can we make this more complicated for ourselves? <laughs> so today we've added in all sorts of crazy elements to our show. So this, if this is your first time watching an Opera on Tap Las Vegas show, we're silly. That's the thing, right? Silly. We're silly, a little weird. We have glittery wine glitter today. Wine. There's glitter wine happening. Um, but there's a lot of tech things that we're playing with today because it is Mozart versus Puccini, Ooh. which is going to be pretty exciting. So joined with us here, that's the weirdest thing I've ever said, with us in the Opera on Tap Las Vegas live studio is our peanut gallery, also known as some of my favorite humans in the world. Ooh, hey. So they're here, and we love them. So this show... We are, um, in this show, we are going to have some live polling, and we've never tried this before, so I'm going to try a test poll. That's why my computer's out here. Um, so this is just a test poll. Let's see how it goes. I, there's a poll result. One person said this thing was on. Is it working like I think it is? Okay, I need at least one more person. Oh, Let's show the results in the video. Oh, we can show the results in the video. Ooh. Technology. We're playing with tech, y'all. <laughs> the results are active. Two. Oh, we got two? Three. Okay, so since three of you are saying it's working, I don't want to spend the whole show being like, hey, is this thing working or not? So, yeah, welcome. It's Opera on Tap. We're doing a thing. So with Mozart versus Puccini, the reason we picked these particular composers is they're kind of the guys, right? Yeah, the, like the if, opera guys. I mean, we all love Carmen, but that was Bizet's only opera? He had the other one with the men. The one that they only oh. sing? Yeah. So it's the other one with yeah. the men, clearly a groundbreaking piece of operatic <laughs> stuff. So. If you think about Mozart, you think about Puccini, it's it's all of the operas, and all of our singers sing some sort of Mozart, some sort of Puccini, some sort of all of it. So we've decided to make a live poll. I'm, so I'm going to close this poll. And so we've got our singers broken into Team Puccini, which is clearly the best. No, no. And then some of them are Team Mozart. Team Mozart in the house. We can't all be winners, <laughs> but we can all play the game. Sorry, Emily. And on that note, we're gonna go. I'm gonna. Uh, we're going to go to our first matchup. So, when we think opera, we think Mozart versus Puccini. There's kind of some pieces that immediately come to mind. So for Mozart, it's the Queen of the Night, which if you don't know that aria by name, you'll recognize it immediately. And for Puccini, it's O mio babino caro, which again you might not know it by name, but I guarantee you you've heard it. So I'm gonna let Emily Jane Dubois. She's our first team Mozart singer. So I will let her kick it off. Cheers, Emily. Cheers. From the depths of hell, it's Emily Jane Dubois. <laughs> Oh, 
So one of Mozart's absolute most well-known arias, so that was Der Lirache, and did we go dark? Maybe we did. I don't know. We're going to keep working with it. So up next is me, and I am singing O Mio Bavino Caro, and obviously Team Puccini is the best. Ooh. Team Puccini. So take it away, me. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I am Emily Kirkins Stevenson, and I am repping Team Puccini, and I will be singing O Mio Babino Caro from Johnny Skiki. In the opera, Lauretta uses this aria to beg her father to let her marry the man of her dreams, or she'll drown herself in a river. In the rest of the non-opera world, you hear this aria on America's Got Talent with your favorite eight-year-old singing inappropriate rep. Or every opera singer of every folk sings this on gala after gala. Everybody loves the piece. It's in commercials and movies and all sorts of crap. I am repping Team Puccini the best way I know how with sparkles on top of sparkles on top of sparkles on top of sparkles on top of sparkles. And I'm going to sing the shit out of it. So you vote for me. One more sip of water. And maestro, if you please. Emily Jane Dubois though because she's like just freaking phenomenal so the question is though is it team Mozart or team Puccini and Sharonda I saw your comment can't we vote for them I mean yeah but in this moment you have to judge so I'm about to publish our Mozart versus Puccini round one poll the votes are happening I hope I don't want to see more results <laughs> <laughs> No, I didn't mean to end the vote. It's open. It is open now. <laughs> Guys, I'm so sorry. This is the first time we've done it. So we're trying new things. Ooh. We're trying new things. Oh, it's 50-50? Oh, it's 50-50? Oh, now. Y'all. What happened? What happened? Okay. Okay. We're going to give it 10 more seconds, I think. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. do. All right, y'all. Voting is closed. Let's see the results. By a very close margin, Team Puccini is winning right now. Right now. They're winning right, right now, now, Team Puccini is winning. But as my Mozart peers are telling me, uh, we're bringing the heat later on. So up next, <laughs> sorry, I have to check my notes, you guys. So those were the OG greatest hits. Every single opera has ingenues. And if you're new to the theater world, 
ingenues are young and pretty and young and pretty. And that's their defining characteristic. Um, but they often fall in love. So for this round, we thought we would do ingenues in love. So up first for Team Puccini, Team Puccini is Miguel Alasco singing, I, we all know that I can't pronounce things. Que so. Jibita Manina. Que Guacamole mm -hmm. from I Mozart's to... Beam. <laughs> from Puccini's Beam. <laughs> and I'm just going to let Miguel take it away because I shouldn't be allowed to talk anymore. Hello, my name is Miguel Alasco. I will be singing Que Jerry da Manina from Puccini's La Boheme, Team Puccini. And I always refer to this aria as the ultimate pickup line aria. Because it's winter time, so what better way to take somebody's hand and be like, oh, your hand is so cold, let me warm it up for you. Rodolfo got game. Either that or he's a super creeper. So either way, I guess, good thing that candle went out. Oh, <laughs> 
a pretty damn convincing ingenue. I'm, yes. It's, yes. it's because Team Puccini is actually the best. However, <laughs> Team Mozart in this round, the fabulous Judy Lombito, she is singing maybe one of my favorite Mozart pieces. It's a little known aria from Le Nozze di Figaro, so we'll let Judy take that away. Go, Judy. Go, Judy, but Team Puccini. <laughs> Hi, I'm Judy and I am on Team Mozart. Uh, now this aria is from The Marriage of Figaro, which premiered in 1786 and had a revival in Vienna in 1789. Now during the revival, Mozart hired another soprano to play Susanna. And that soprano approached him and she said that the two arias written for her just didn't suit her voice. <laughs> so uh, Mozart actually wrote two uh, alternate arias for Susanna. So that tells you what a team player he was. Now, uh, this is one of those arias. This is Und Moto di Gioia. Hit it, maestro. Judy and I am on team Mozart. Uh, now this aria is from The Marriage of Figaro, which premiered in 1786 and had a revival in Vienna in 1789. Now during the revival, Mozart hired another soprano to play Susanna. And that soprano approached him and she said that the two arias written for her just didn't suit her voice. <laughs> so uh, Mozart actually wrote two uh, alternate arias for Susanna. So that tells you what a team player he was. Now, uh, this is one of those arias. This is Und Moto di Gioia. Hit it, maestro. to play that aria twice. Team Mozart. So we're going to publish 
who was the prettiest ingenue. Now, prettiest ingenue being the character, not the impossible task of who is prettier, Miguel or Judy. Because obviously I am. <laughs> so vote for Team Puccini or Team Mozart. Mozart. Let's go, Mozart. Oh, we got my pom pom. Oh. <laughs> You were a cheerleader, weren't you? Oh. I was the cheerleader. Oh, she was the cheerleader. We're watching some votes come in. Team Mozart has taken a loss on this one. Puccini is still oh. ahead. Woo. <laughs> so, so those were our ingenues. The other thing that opera is full of, always full of, there's a lot of places I could go with this. <laughs> I was like, where, where are you going with this? But the place that I was actually going was very PG rated because opera is full <laughs> of dreamers. <laughs> dreamers <laughs> of <laughs> all kinds. <laughs> it's one of the best parts about opera is that there are so many wonderful dreamers, and Puccini and Mozart both wrote for some beautiful arias for beautiful dreamers. So starting up for this, I always have to check my notes, it's just me, uh, Cynthia for Team Puccini is going to sing one of the dreamiest operatic arias ever. Take it away, Cynthia. Hello, my name is Cynthia. And I'm glad to be singing on this virtual show, Mozart versus Puccini, with the Opera on Tap Las Vegas chapter. I'm singing an aria by Puccini from the opera La Rondine, which is set in Paris. And um, the character Magda throws a cocktail party, as you do. And I'm in my cocktail dress with my cocktail party for one. And a guest at the party, he's a poet, and he starts singing about his new character, Doretta, and how she's refused a king um, because she values true love over money. Um, but as he's singing, uh, he stops, and Magda's like, why did you stop? What's going on? And he says, I don't know how to finish it. I can't end it. But he says, if you finish it for me, all the glory is yours. And she goes, challenge accepted. So here it is, her singing, and she finishes it, the aria Chi bel sogno di Doretta. Enjoy. Oh, 
That was pretty dreamy. That was pretty dreamy. But it is my turn. <laughs> and and yeah. she's not passing around anybody. <laughs> oh, my. You, let me tell you something. Kiki's Ari Arias are beautiful, but you know what they don't have? High Fs. So, <laughs> next up, I'm going to give you some Mozart with a high F in it, maybe. It was written. <laughs> the high F is written. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Your high notes are flawless. <laughs> I don't want to hear from you. So, uh, I will be singing... <laughs> Um, my character, the Queen of the Night, um, is coming to convince Tamino to go save her, um, her daughter. And if he saves her, she uh, he can have her. <laughs> Which is wonderful parenting. <laughs> Women are property in opera. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Stevie's going to rep Team Mozart, Mozart, and she's a little aggressive, so... So here's the queen of the night, again. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Okay, so team Mozart, team that was Mozart. pretty great. So the question now though is, who was dreamier, Me. team Mozart or team Zucchini? The poll is published, voting is open. I won't awkwardly sing the Jeopardy song again. I think we can all agree that was not okay. Do do. Okay, I lied. Do. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're getting we're getting we're getting sound effects in here. Ooh, ooh. Voting is still happening. Oh, this is gonna be a close race, no. I think, you guys. I think this is gonna be a close race. And I think we're gonna close down the polls. Maybe leave it a little more open. Oh, it's getting this is our this is our oh, closest shit. race we're at, you guys. These people come out. <laughs> All right. Do 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 do. This is your 10 second warning to do the voting. Do, do, do. I would like to go for it. Bum, bum. All right, so this poll started out really close, but Team Puccini has taken it in an eight to two lead. So Team Puccini's there. Um, up next, what category is up next? Ooh, this is my favorite category of the whole ah. show. So the thing that's funny when you're an opera singer is that people tell you, well, opera's just really boring. It's really boring. It's just like Italian. And then you start to look at the plots. All these people do is drink and bone. <laughs> Especially in Mozart and Puccini, all these people do is drink and bone. So this oh. category is young, horny, and in love. So, we've got some fabulous singers here. So, I forget who I put first. Ooh, Isabella Ivy is going to be singing Don De Lieta. Uh, she's another one of those ingenue characters that we talked about. But in addition to being young and pretty, you, uh, Mimi is horny as hell. So, I'm going to let Izzy take it away. Hello, everyone. I'm hey, everyone. My name is Isabella Ivy, and I will be singing Don De Lieta from La Boheme. Go, Team Puccini.
So Mimi was just looking for, you know, some love. Love. Mm -hmm. Love in quotation marks and italics. Um, but maybe I am team Puccini, but probably my favorite horny Mozart character is Carabino. There's no, there's no denying it. There's yeah. no, Carabino's an amazing role, but he's also really funny and there's not really a secret what his motivations are. Yeah. So I'm going to let Olivia Sirota take that away and sing Sweet this Mozart. wonderful aria. Hi, my name is Olivia and I'll be singing Non so più cosa son from Mozart's Le Notte di Figaro. Wolfie, 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 Wolfie. In this opera, I am Cherubino, and Cherubino is the page boy for the castle, and I am obsessed with women and the way they make me feel. I'm especially in love with the countess of the castle, and I've just stolen a ribbon from her nightcap, and I'm just obsessing over my feelings. Non so più cosa son, cosa faccio, o rifugio da son, o rifugio, 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 o another tough round that's the thing whenever whenever we do any sort of competitive element with opera on tap las vegas like live or this is our first time doing it over a stream all the singers are so good and the music is so pretty i don't know who to pick so i'm gonna make you do it i do so team mozart obviously <laughs> team puccini okay um so young horny and in love who wrote the better aria the polls are open and i'm not even gonna lie to you i'm probably gonna awkwardly sing jeopardy Oh, this is a tight one. Well, so I'm tallying all the votes at the end. So your vote always counts. So always vote for Mozart. <laughs> always vote for Puccini. Puccini? Puccini. Someone put too much wine in my glitter. <laughs> oh, this is a super tight race. This is the tightest race yet. It's exciting. It's exciting. All right, I'm going to close the polls in 10. 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Team Mozart pulled yeah. that out, y'all, in a five to four battle. That's, Work, that is legitimately our closest match yet. So we've got one more matchup for you. Um, this is maybe just one. my favorite matchup. We have just one. We do have another round, and we'll talk about that after the matchup. <laughs> so um, this one, I'm worried I'm going to get in trouble. Men are the worst, okay? Like, they are. Like, I'm not, I'm married a very nice man. Randy's a very nice man. Miguel is a very nice man. But men kind of suck, and in opera, they a thousand percent suck. Like... If they're not trying to convince you there's someone else by putting a mustache on, <laughs> they're cheating on you with their housemate. Or they stab you. Yeah. Or they do yeah. all of those things while they stab you. So in the meantime, we've got some arias celebrating that men are the worst. Because if men are going to suck, you might as well sing really beautiful songs <laughs> about it. So up first in this round, the fabulous Dr. Sharonda McKee Dollar Ooh. singing from Die Entführung. I'm not even going to try. It's The Abduction of the Seraglio. <laughs> and I will let Sharonda tell you a little bit Yay. about it. Good afternoon. My name is Sharonda, and I will be singing Achik Liebte from Die Entführung aus dem Sarai. This aria is about a woman named Constanza, who has been locked away from her beloved by a man named the Pasha, and because men are the worst, that's the category, men are the worst, um, he comes in and he finds her crying and he's asking, you know, what's wrong? And she's saying, I was in love. I was happy. I was completely and, and, and totally just in complete bliss. And because I've been locked away, because you've locked me away from my beloved, I am now completely miserable and I don't know what to do with the rest of my life. So there you have it. This is the man, the Pasha is, he's the worst, the absolute worst. Um, and she's a little dramatic. Yeah. So here is Aki Klipta. Aki Klipta, wohl so sehnlich, so vergiebte Liebe schmerzt. Wohl so sehnlich, so vergiebte Liebe schmerzt. Schwur es Freude. Thank <laughs> you. 
so many high notes, and Saranda just makes them look so easy. Yes. What it's like, oh, do? I'm going to roll out of bed, and just here's 50,000 high Ds, and I'm going to breathe <laughs> twice. Uh, so we love you, Sharonda, and that was gorgeous. We do have one more men are the worst Aria, though, and Amanda's VC Darte is a pretty phenomenal thing. So up next in this round, Amanda with VC Darte. Hi everyone, thank you for joining us for another Opera On Tap live stream, Mozart versus Puccini. I'm super excited to sing for all of you tonight. Uh, I'm singing one of my favorite Puccini arias, Visi Darte from Tosca. Uh, what's better than an opera singer playing an opera singer? This is the quintessential diva aria. Uh, basically Tosca is saying, you know, why God, why is this happening to me? All I wanted to do is sing and be a good person uh, because this guy who's in love with her is gonna kill her boyfriend who she's actually in love with if she doesn't go with him instead. Uh, drama, 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 basically everything that a soprano lives for. So here is Visidarte from Tosca. <laughs> chance to vote so I'm gonna publish the final who's saying the best men are the worst poll while you're casting those votes I want to tell you a few things that are happening right after our show today Opera on Tap has done this amazing thing in quarantine where we have all of our chapters doing really wonderful digital shows and providing opportunities for our singers and all of those great things so head over to Emmy and Harry's we're also streaming from there right now um, Opera on Tap Las Vegas has a surprisingly busy fall season, given that we can't see any of you in person. So round two of Mozart versus Puccini is going to be streaming next Friday, the 28th, at 6.30 p.m. In September, we're celebrating art songs, which is really, really exciting. Our singers are thrilled about that. In October, 
we are presenting our first ever one acts. So we will be doing two productions. We'll be doing the Vegas Presario, an updated <laughs> Vegas-sized version of Mozart's Impresario on October 23rd at 7 p.m. And on Sunday, October 25th, we're calling it the food show because food we're show. featuring the coffee cantata, Bernstein's Bon Cuisine, the ice cream sextet from Street Scene, and a fabulous scene from Manon celebrating my favorite thing, food. Additionally, because there's not enough cool stuff happening, Bard at the Bar, which is a fabulous organization in town, is doing their first online show tomorrow at 5 p.m. And they're doing Caesar and Cleopatra. Caesar and Cleopatra, that got very opera -y. And then Vegas City Opera is going to be creating the ring cycle coming to your ring doorbell in November. So check out more on our website. Fast run through our thank yous because these shows don't happen without a lot of people. Ann Hyatt over at Opera on Tap National, our fearless leader, helping us do all these things. Dr. Spencer Baker, helping us do all sorts of wonderful, wonderful things. Our track is amazing. All of our donors, I totally forgot to plug that if you are interested in tipping our singers for this show, uh, there's a link, paypal.me slash OOTLV. Help feed these poor starving singers. Uh, Stevie, I love you. There's just no way around it. I, we might be on opposite teams of the Puccini Mozart, but our love is eternal. All of our singers, the bars that we've performed at, Classic Jewel and Ninja Karaoke, we can't wait to come back and drink cocktails that we don't make ourselves. And the whole group over at Emmy and Carrie's, we love you. Studio Kirkin, uh, this is insane what this man has pulled off in what used to be my apartment and my living room. Um, I don't drink coffee anymore because I can't get to it, but he's pretty <laughs> phenomenal. So I'm gonna tally the final votes here before we before we head out, and it is Team Puccini, 44 votes to 23 votes. So almost two to one, Team Puccini took this round. But we've got another Mozart versus Puccini competition, and you never know who's gonna win. Join us next Friday for round two of Mozart versus Puccini. We love you all for watching. We love you all for voting. We love all your patience as we try all these crazy new things. And you just work with us with our tech support. We love you guys. I personally love you guys. Thank you to my little pod of opera wonderful people. Thank you to Studio Kirkin. And we'll see you guys next time. See you next time. Cheers, everybody. Head over to Opera on Tap Colorado for their next show.